Hello everybody, this is Duke Potato Nuke. And I hope you can hear me over the title screen music here, but here I'm just gonna do this. Anyways, this is something I've been kind of looking forward to. It's a little story behind this whole thing. Back in 2011, tw end of 2010 maybe, I don't remember exactly when, but I heard that id Software, the company that was responsible for all those great Doom games and all those great Wolfenstein games, they're coming out with a new type of first-person shooter. And it was going to be a post-apocalyptic wasteland one. And it was supposed to be all open world and everything. And I was like, what What the heck? Are they trying to make their own Fallout game? You know, this is id Software, the company that made first-person shooters what they are, you know? So, uh, surely it has to be good, but, uh, you know, I kind of didn't really look into it much because I was thinking... Well, knowing it's software, they're going to make a game engine that really pushes your hardware to the limits. And it was probably going to be something I wasn't going to be able to run for a while. You know, at least not until a couple of years down the line or so. Well, I actually wound up forgetting all about it. And just a couple of months ago, I was just casually browsing around on Steam and I found it. I found Rage. And I was like, oh yeah, that game. And then it kind of hit me. You know when a triple A title comes out and there's all this hype surrounding it, it's either going to do one of two things. It's either going to make it and it's going to be a good game and it's going to be something people talk about for years, or it's going to be a big flop and it's just going to fade into oblivion. Well, I was, as I found Rage a couple of months ago, I realized, you know, I haven't really heard anything about it. I mean, people still talk about games like Skyrim. Fallout 3, you know. But there's no talk or any post-game release hype about Rage. So I was thinking, hmm, I wonder if that was Id's first ever flop title. So I, uh, started looking into it, seeing, you know, what the heck ever... I had this big thing going on in my head. What the heck ever happened to Rage? What happened to it? And from what I've gathered, it on its launch, it had more problems on its launch than Diablo 3 did for for Blizzard. Uh, this game, when it was launched, it had lots of graphical problems for people who had a, uh, I, I, you know, non GeForce graphic cards. And uh, from what I understand, it still has a few problems in that area. And of course, the graphics card I upgraded to is a GeForce, so... So, yeah, I just, and uh, some of the biggest things that I've noticed, the two things that caught, the two problems that caught my eye the most were, one, it wasn't quite as open world as it was promised to be, and two, its story sucks. And another problem I noticed is that... Uh, a lot of people were hoping it would be a big, you know, it would be a dedicated PC game. But when it came out, it was like a clumsy, crude console port. Well, I the game was just 20 bucks when I found it a couple of months ago, but, you know, the Steam Summer Sale was coming up. So I waited, and sure enough, it went on sale super cheap. Like, there was one point it was down to 5 bucks, so I nabbed it. And, well, here we are. Now, I have played a fair portion of this game. If you know anything about me, you know I don't like blind runs. I don't like that. I don't like to do it, and I don't like to watch it. I like the person who's doing the game to know something about it. You don't have to know everything, you know. Just don't be a, cl a crude, cl crude, clumsy newbie at the game. That's not what I watch video videos for. And as I went in and played some of it to get a feel for it, I noticed some things that were that I'm thinking... Because you know there's a lot of times when it comes to video games there are subtle things that are the real problem behind the game that you don't really think about. And then when you do encounter a real problem, 
then you kind of explode about this problem and have more of a problem with it than you would have otherwise just because all these other little things adding up. Well, why don't we go ahead and start a new game and one little one little example is when you first start this game there are two intro screens one advertising Bethesda who published the game and then another splash screen advertising id software the company who made the game and those things are unskippable unless you add launch options to the launch launch options and you can do that in Steam so I can skip them but you know, that's just one example of a bunch of little nitpicky things. But anyways, here we go. The opening is actually pretty good. You wouldn't think it was bad. There was anything wrong with it from the opening. So, we're just going to do normal. Here we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. You have to admit that was a pretty good opening movie. And once we get past this beginning part, I'll explain what the story is. It's actually pretty simple. External disturbance detected. Cryogenic chambers compromised. Chamber alive online. Initiating emergency nanotrite activation. Three, two... One. Nanotrite sequencer online. Release cryogenic chamber seals. Internal arc temperature nominal. Rebooting internal data systems. For some reason they have to calibrate. All nanotrite bio-augmentation systems fully deployed. Nanotrites active. Current position unknown. This thing takes a while to shut Remote up. Remote location beacon offline. Running full diagnostic. Anyways, I'm going to just pause it here. Yes, this is a post-apocalyptic game. But it's not that way because of nuclear missiles. Humanity didn't just, you know, wipe itself out with a nuclear war. It's because a giant freaking asteroid hit the Earth. You know, and with a bunch of other little asteroids behind it. So, and for some reason, you and a bunch of other people were put into this thing called the Ark. You know, I guess you, and the thing is, you were injected with nanites. I guess, you know, they knew that civilization might come to an end or might enter a dark age because of the disaster. And they wanted to preserve the knowledge that they had. I guess the nanites. So you and a bunch of other people were injected with the nanite technology and put, you know, in cryogenic sleep in this arc. Tests. Arc external pressure seals fully released. Safe egress is now confirmed. Outer door lock disengaged. Are you done blah blah blahing now? 
Initiate pre-recorded media playback. Guess not. This is President Davis. You, the ARC volunteers, are mankind's last hope. Our survival, our very existence rests in your hands. No one will know what you will find when you awake. But remember, you and the contents of these arcs will form the final barrier to the extinction of mankind. Our prayers go with you. And Godspeed. And playback. You know, apparently this didn't go so well. Looks like we are the only survivor here. What does this do? Uh, running, diagnostics, time to complete, unknown. Hmm. Anyways. Get ready for this. Look at this. Look at that sky. Look at that sun. Naturally, it's an id game engine. It's an engine by John Carmack. So naturally, it's going to look good. It's going to perform good. But John Carmack himself is not a game... is not a... I want to say he's not a game designer. He's a game engine designer. But as far as putting the heart and soul into a game, that's just not his cup of tea, and that may be what happened with this game. But anyways... <laughs> You! Over here! That voice sounds familiar. I still can't place it, though. It ain't safe here. Get in. I know you got questions, but we gotta get moving. Alright. Let's... Got bandits all over these hills. We best get going. Are those bandits or were those... I'm Dan Hager, and you are one lucky son of a bitch. You know, Ark survivors are worth a lot of money to whoever hands them over to the Authority. A doom bobblehead. Wait, you don't even know the Authority yet. Well, I guess you don't know anything about any of this. That is one itty bitty Welcome little steering wheel. Welcome to the wheel. future. What the hell is that? Saw that the first time I ran through this, and I'm still like, what the hell is that? Hold on. Got bandits. This is one weird little part. Bandits. Okay, ooh, bandits. Damn so what do we you're do? you're still wearing that arc suit. It's a dead giveaway. So what do we do? We come to a dead stop. Uh... Pretty much their world out here. Probably looking for their buddies. Damn. Now we both got a problem. Why don't you shoot them in the head with a gun or something? Uh, yeah, I know such things are easier said than done, but, you know. We need to get to my place. Once they see what I've done, they'll be coming for blood. I and for you. I still like that doom guy bobblehead. I've got a plan that might get us both out of this mess. Alright. Ah, here we are. Home sweet home. Yeah. We need to talk. Get out of the buggy. Not bad so far, this huh? Way. 